Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, coming to you from the backstage of the Garbage Man Piper studio, and uh, taking a quick break, uh, lunch, smoking in my, my cob, I love this style, one of my favorites other than the country gentleman. And the two I won the other day from the raffle. I've got in it some Marlin Flake. My number one tobacco. Marlin Flake. Old Gallery. Macbeth. All rat trays. When we're talking about uh, Virginia Burley Periques. Anybody got any Marlin Flake you want to trade up for some? I'm up for it. I want some more Marlin Flake. I got two tins and a half a jar and uh, I want to sell her up on that Marlin Flake. So if you've got Marlin Flake, I'm open for a trade. You saw what I used to have back here. Now I've got all my pipes back there. So, anyhow, got a yabo from my brother Running Pipe. Listen, if you haven't subbed Running Pipe, do so. He was doing some uh, one pipe one week. Uh, get in there and watch those. He he dissects that tobacco, and then the pipes that he's using. Totally breaks those pipes down. And uh, anyways, he just uh, loved watching those series that he was doing. Got a bro note. Daniel, thank you very much. Um, basically, the bro notes just breaking down the tobaccos that he gave me and why he sent them. Galwes, Hogart, Bob's Chocolate Freak. I got a little more. I got another sample of that that Harriet gave me. So I'll add that to the sample jar and get to chooching on it. Galwes and Hogart, Broken Scottish Flake. Or it says Scott, Scottish cake. Sorry, I know it didn't look like a flake. Scottish cake. Never tried it. McConnell Latakia flake. That's some nice flake right there, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but mm, that's going to be some good choo there. I'm looking forward to that. So Daniel, running pipe. My man, appreciate what you do. I want to see some more series though, bro. You really break them pipes and the tobacco down, which is very valuable for somebody who's interested in either that pipe or that tobacco. So just a little shout out. A little shout out there. A lot of new presenters out there, guys. A lot of new presenters. Harriet Herfer and I did an experiment. I'm not talking about grape bands. I'm talking about Sleepy Hollow and Old Dark Fire. It's that jar right there. And basically we took some Sleepy Hollow and we cut up some old dark fire. She did hers a certain way. I cut mine up into like eighth inch cubes, my flakes. Stuck it in there and I've been pressing that thing 
It's been about a month now. And I'm thinking on the 31st Halloween, I'm going to break that open. We got a mantle going. Richard's going to be here. Luis is going to be here. Uh, Latakia Quest from the channel. If you haven't subbed Latakia Quest, do that. Luis, he's coming up uh, to join us. And we may have another one, a new Piper. We're not sure if he's going to make it or not. But he's excited about joining us at some point. So it'll be interesting to see how Old Dark Fire, I think, gives some body to uh, the Sleepy Hollow. So I'm looking at that. We're also going to be cracking open this tin. Frogmorton Cellar. I've never had it. Um... So that's going to be pretty cool. Hey, let me show you a couple more things I picked up yesterday. If you guys will uh, allow me to do that. I was at a uh, antique store. And when I first got into piping, you know, way back in June of this year, I saw this pipe. It's a Meerschaum. This is going to be my Monday Meerschaum pipe. It's substantial. And uh, I think it'll, it'll, it's, it's been chooched before, but it's been cleaned. So I'll do a secondary cleaning on that. So I stole that yesterday. And then I picked this one up that is too flipping cool. Is that sweet or what? Look at the claw now. So, I'm excited over time maybe to brown this baby up. I got both of these for less than, less than you would get for paying for this one. New. And these have been around a while. These cases are... These cases are old. They came from an estate from somebody had, but we're going to choo them, man. Make it happen. So anyways, a little bit of the activity that's going on around here. I'm digging all the backy bombs going out. Now that, that the bomber's been caught... We can get to backy bombing. I was, uh, Big Casper did a shout out to me the other day, comment on one of my VRs. And, uh, we're going to change up the pipe acquisition disorder to pipe acquisition joy. P A J, pipe acquisition joy. I think disorder has kind of a context of uh, you really can't help yourself, which is actually kind of true. But there's just a joy about it. T-A-J and P-A-J. Tobacco acquisition joy and pipe acquisition joy. I think that puts a brighter spin on what we all are experiencing, either through getting bombed or helping out some of our local brick and mortars or even the tobacco houses. Kind of bummer thing happened to me the other day. I was smoking that Peterson tanker that's in one of my VRs and the shank where the stem goes snapped off the bowl. What? I looked at it and there was hardly any wood holding that that shank on there. So I reached out to Peterson and Tobacco Pipes and see what they can do for me. I picked it up around May, I think, something like that. So anyways, listen, that's what I got. You guys don't need to sit here and watch my wheels spin. With that, I'm saying Mel Harris Garbage Man Piper. 
Have a great rest of the day. It is 66 and sunny here in El Paso. Y'all be safe out there.